Hello Libros and welcome. I'm Vera Lynn and this is Spiritual Findings. Today we're going to do a love reading for you guys just to figure out and get a little bit more insight on what's going on with our love life. Whether you're single, married, newly divorced, or whether this is referring to self-love, hopefully you guys find some messages and inspiration with this reading. These readings are a little bit of vague, so I'm reading to a large amount of my lovely Libras, but if you would like to book a private session, I'm offering sessions as low as $6. You can go ahead and message me, comment below, find me on Facebook. I will find you guys. However, however you feel comfortable reaching out, you know, if you want something a little bit more private, let me know. But let's see see here guys I'm reading from the original tarot and I have a few Oracle and um, I have the angels and fairies here original um, Rider weight as well as vintage with some Oracle now we had a card just jump out there you guys probably seen that <laughs> some of you might be listening working in your kitchen but some of you guys are you know watching me shuffle and we just had a card jump out right there and that is the ace of swords so it's telling me that there's going to be room for communication moving forward okay there's an opportunity okay to resolve a conflict um, you know, kind of find a different way to deal with your partner. I don't want to say different way to deal with, um, but you know, it takes compromise, relationships and marriage and things like that. You know, it is 50-50 and you know, sometimes you guys need to reboot the relationship with how the finances and how everything's working, dealing with the kids and kind of really find something that works for your schedules, works for you guys' energy and just moving forward. Okay, for some of you guys who are single and looking to mingle, um, I do see, okay, because swords represent air and air represents communication. I do see something coming around the corner for my Libras. Um, you know, you just have to be a little bit more social. Now this could be, you know, internet dating. This could be some type of concert, um, an expo, um, you know, even just something simple in your community just to reach out, things like that. But the opportunity is coming to you and just to see the Ace of Swords, you could literally see it is just a gift from the spirits being handed to you, okay? Um, now, for some of my people who are single, now this could be Geminis, um, Aquarius, uh, this could also be my Libras, um, you know, fellow Libras. With it representing air, and it could kind of come back to the air sign. So maybe there's a fellow air sign that you need to kind of bounce your opinions off of. Um, you know, whether it's a sister, friend, it could represent a um, future... Uh, relationship with an Aquarius, um, you know, with a Gemini or a Libra. I had another card jump out here, guys. Sorry if it, oh, sorry if it sounds all awkward. I'm trying to pick this up. Oh my, oh my, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Yeah, you can see like my head in the corner there. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is just odd. Okay, so before... Before I started recording this reading, I got interrupted by my children and I had this card flop out and believe it or not, it was this card. So this card came twice for my reading for you guys. So there's a lot of uh, options out there for you guys, okay? So don't let the fact that there's too many options out there keep you from making a decision, okay? So this could be you just have too many potential people to date um, there might be too many options you know if you're married you know you don't know whether to get divorced you don't know whether to reboot the relationship and start over you don't know whether to make it an open relationship you know there's just so many different choices okay but Libras I know you guys in the end do what's right and all in good karma but don't forget about yourselves and your own happiness okay I know you're all about family and everything like that um, whether it's keeping the kids together or just keeping your parents happy on who you're dating, whatever it might be, okay? 
Make a list, my love. Make a list on what is best for you, okay? And then we'll move forward on that. You know, once you see it on paper, pros and cons, and just don't forget your happiness. Whether what, Whatever time of year you guys are watching this, or, you know, if you follow the moon cycle, you know, don't feel like you have to manifest it, like, right now, right this second. If you're not quite sure what it is you want, take a step back. Meditate on it, my loves. Meditate on it, okay? So let's see here. I'm going to pull another card. I think of one or two more. I didn't really have a set number. Okay. All right. So there's anxiety. Um, you're losing sleep. Some of you guys might be borderline an insomniac. Okay. This could be have you have just lost a loved one. You're getting over uh, a sickness. Um, you know, somebody in your family is sick. This is what this card represents, guys. And this is the ten. I'm sorry, the nine of swords. Okay. So that anxiety, that depression. You know, I feel like there's a lot of worry in your life right now. And I know my Libras do worry because you guys, all in end, really want to do what's best for everyone else, okay, all in good nature, okay? But I want you to kind of take this card and realize that this is not what is to come, but this is what you do need to focus on, like after you make this decision, don't sweat the st small stuff, don't let it keep you up at night, okay guys? Whatever decision you make, I know it's going to be right because you're going to take that time and consideration, okay? You're gonna find out whatever it is, okay? in the beginning with this great opportunity when it comes to the Ace of Swords. That's a great card to have, okay? But that it's followed by the Choices card and it's followed by, you know, Lack of Sleep and Health Concerns card. It shows me that you guys are really taking this out on yourself. And we need to stop. I love my Libras. I don't think I've ever met a Libra and was like, wow, they're a bad person. Like, you guys sincerely just want to just equal things out all in good harmony my mother is a libra if you guys are cross watching for a libra you know how much you love these guys my mother is a libra and honestly um I could tell throughout my childhood she had certain personality traits that I was just like, Mom, why aren't you worrying about yourself? All in all, yes, she is a mother and mother sacrifice as is, but there's just something about Libras where it's just, they will do anything to make the peace happen. And my Libras, whether it's a sour marriage or you're dealing with somebody with an addiction, uh, it could be a loved one, you know, a sibling, just realize that you can only control so much and you need to let it go. But we need to realize right now that self-care is the focus of this, okay? You know, I didn't date this reading and I didn't put anything on it, but I'm going to kind of going with like everything happens for a reason and you found this video, Libra. Okay, so self-care, okay? Epsom salts in the bath, just a 20 minute bath really rejuvenates thing. Or, you know, even just something simple as a shower meditation. You know, you guys can check out my Facebook. I have information about that. So nice, okay? Simple walks, okay? Reading a book, painting again, whatever it is that made you happy and calmed you down and kind of got you into that state of mind where you can really access your subconscious and realize what it is that you're doing that's making you unhappy, okay? I feel I do have a, a heavy sense you know, when I was accessing your energy before the reading, I had a very heavy sense and we need to change that because that heaviness is just worry. It's nothing that we can change, okay? We're gonna pull one more card and then I have the Vintage Wisdom Oracle, I have the Angels card and I also have the Therapies. I said one, we get two. All right, so afterwards, I love this, I love this. Okay guys, so after all of this that we realize the choices that we have to make that we need to make different decisions in our life to where we're focusing more on our self-love, our self-care. I kind of had a feeling that that was gonna pop up in this reading, just kind of sensing things. You have the Page of Cups which is a message about your emotions, okay? This is a loved one coming into 
your life. If you are single, this is somebody coming around the corner to date. However, I don't really have enough information to scry on this right now to know if it's long term, but it will make you happy. It will be entertaining. It will be pleasant. Pleasant. There will be a lot of fine dining and just going out, entertaining, trying trying different things. Now, if you're married, this is also just kind of spicing up the relationship. What did you guys like to do in the past? Do it again, okay? You know, for my women out there who want to be romanced, sometimes you need to just kind of bring it in to the marriage again and, and make your husband realize that, hey, you know, I forgot about that. Let's let's bring it back in again, okay? Sometimes it takes it. Dress up, put on that lipstick. I don't know. Girls, do it. Guys, <laughs> that goes for you too. If you're my Libras watching, grab some flowers, you know? It, it doesn't have to be cheap. It doesn't have to be expensive. It could be literally something simple. Um, you know, cheesy is cute, so keep, keep that up too afterwards and this is why I think this is so much beauty we went from so much pain so much turmoil to we're getting somewhere we're getting the emotions the satisfaction the attention that we need with our emotions and we're moving to the ace of wands which is growth which is telling me that there's growth in your relationship there's growth in your marriage if you're single there's growth in you know a potential relationship in the future that actually will lead to marriage because this is another opportunity look I honestly like this is a, a really good set I'm sorry but like do you see how on both ends because now I'm not pulling anymore I wanted one card I got two so everything happens for a reason right on either side okay you begin with the ace of swords which tells me bring in the communication bring in that you know authoritative you know i want this in my life i'm gonna bring this in okay we make the choices we re release the old negatives and then look what we're ending up with we're ending up with the ace of wands so it's like pushing forward you know pushing back into like we're you know we're kind of moving forward with communication but also we're growing at the same time and the focus is i feel a lot of self-care um a lot of self-care within the relationship moving forward forward you know being inspirational being passionate okay you have the swords you have the wands okay and you have the cups in between which tell me that the relationship like i don't see any pentacles here which is telling me it's not really about the finances anymore it's not really about the materialistic needs it's about balancing out the emotions with communication and growth okay with passion and authoritiveness step on that soapbox let your voices and your emotions be heard okay when it comes to the wands get in your hobbies again what made you happy go do it don't be afraid to go out and do things alone you know sometimes like there might be something um you know that's free community wise and it's like i just don't really want to go out alone my friend won't go with me blah blah blah, blah. or want to see this movie but i just don't want to go alone i don't have anybody just do it just do it virgo <laughs> oh maybe you got a virgo maybe you got a virgo out there who you need to do it with hey shout out because my mom is a libra and i'm a virgo and we literally just today we're talking about going and doing more things together because you know our spouses are not really into it or we don't really have a group of friends that are into it but we're into it and we want to do it so whatever it might be all right let's get at it let's get at it we have one card here from the vintage wisdom oracle deck um you know hey if you guys do want a private reading shout out um comment below whatever it might be send me an email i'll find you guys just don't be don't be shy i have really good ratings i have live streams too so hit that notification bell and join us on uh facebook for live streams because you might even end up getting a free reading those are really cool all right so we have kindred spirits and ancestors like i said i call i asked for one card and i got too so a lot of you guys are like kind of maybe getting a little bit more like biting off a little bit more than you can chew when it comes to certain situations now that might be good when it comes to a lot of things but it might not be good when it comes to you know certain areas in life where we don't want more <laughs> where the food don't taste good okay so we have kindred spirits and we have ancestors all right i want you to call on your ancestors people who have passed your mother your grandfather an aunt an uncle whoever gave you the wisdom or that you really just feel connected to 
It don't even have to be really somebody that you've known long. Just somebody that you kind of know that their spirit's there. Call on them. Ask for them for help. The kindred spirits. Now that's where I feel like we're going to be finding people that um, are like-minded. If you're into weird witchy stuff, you're going to find those weird witchy people. If you go out there and go to those groups, go to the holistic meets, whatever it might be. You know, if you're a gym junkie, but you're just not finding anybody at your local gym, maybe kind of go out. Reach out to different things. Try a Tough Mudder. Maybe try rock climbing. I don't know. Get out there. All right? Kindred spirits. It's not going to happen unless you try, unless you literally take yourself out of that comfort zone and try. Okay? So call, maybe call on your ancestors when you're doing something that you're uncomfortable with, but you know that you want to do. You want to cross it off that bucket list. That's really important. Huh. Oh, I got the little ones yelling. All right, so I'm going to do one more card for y'all. Uh, I'm feeling really good. Uh, focus, guys. Focus, focus, focus. Maybe get a journal. Move forward. Write down things. Have it all in front of you. Go back to it frequently so you can kind of just re-manifest it, you know. Um, look up on my channel, guys. I have a lot of spell work, manifesting things that you guys can check out, um, you know, just to kind of help you, give you inspiration. You know, I'm right now after this... After this tarot reading, so it's probably already up, uh, or in the process of it, depending on how early y'all watch this, um, is I'm doing a, you know, a money spell and um, with candle work, and I'll be doing a loved one too as well. If you guys need that help, um, I have uh, meditation soundtracks. So, you know, I'll be doing more guided meditations in the future. I know it's hard to kind of keep inspired and keep motivating when you're on that rat race of life, but hey. Maybe I'm your kindred spirit. Your wish is granted. You have asked. What you've asked for is coming true. All right. I love this. I, I honestly love this because you guys need this inspiration when it comes to your love life. You know, even further out when it comes to your finances and your career and just your passions in life. You need that. Your wish is granted. Manifest. Don't be afraid to do that. You need to address this. I feel like this is a lot of shadow work, making choices, um, addressing you know our mental health and things like that and moving forward but honestly your wish is being granted what you have asked for is coming true all right libra it doesn't get any more beautiful than that all right guys thank you so much for tuning in and i hope to see you guys in the future don't be afraid to comment below all right guys blessed be libras